All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the image button object. So up here in the object panel, we have the image button. So if you double click on that, you'll see that it inserts a new button into your launcher. Now, this is just the default images that are on here. So we can grab hold of this and move it anywhere we want to. And as you can see, it shows you in real time as well, the different stages of the launcher image uh, of the button image as you drag it around in the editor. So all we do is click on the uh, settings cog for the um, button and click on images. So this is where we select the normal hover and the click image. So you can import your own. So if you click on the library icon, it's going to bring up the library in order for you to select the images you want to use for the button. So if you have some images that you've designed and you've not imported them yet, you can just simply drag and drop those files into the library here and then you can select them. But for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to show you um, what's already in our existing library. I'm using the Minecrafters template, which already comes with buttons or done for you. So this is going to be the um, normal state of the button. So we're going to select that. And then for the hover, we're going to use this one, which is mods one. And then for the click, we're going to use mods two. So we can come off that and we can see our new mods button is now in place. As you can see, it looks a bit squished and that's not an issue because all you have to do is go up to here and click on original size and it will resize the button to its original size based on the image dimensions. And then we can simply move the object over here exactly where we need it to be, which is right there. Uh, so what I always recommend doing is when you create buttons like image buttons and stuff up here in the image ob uh, in the object inspector, you'll notice that um, they have all these um, new button names. So to make things a little bit easier, if you click on the mods button and here where F, if you go to F, this means friendly name. So you can literally type in mods button and that and now you know that that will be your mods button. So when you reload the page back up and you quickly need to grab hold of the mods button, you can select it from the list there and you know that that's the object that you want. Uh, just a quick look at through the rest of the settings then for the image button. Uh, we have sound effects, so you can choose uh, a WAV file or a WAV file to use uh, for the hover and the click. Uh, and to enable those, you just toggle that to on like that. Uh, button cursors, again, you can change the button cursor. So usually we'll have standard um, so that it's a standard mouse button, a uh, mouse cursor when it hovers over the button, or we can choose it to a finger, or we can choose it to a help button as well. I suspect there'll be a few more of these added in the future as GLC V3 gets developed. And then the actions button, um, the action setting, sorry. So this is the actions for when this button is clicked. What do you want it to do? So simply you go up here, add a new action, and then you select from the list what you want to happen when the user has clicked this button. So there's a whole host of things here and we'll go through these in a different tutorial video, but uh, all this is in the documentation already available for you uh, to look at over on the Biobox Media support site.